Uh, good morning, it's Roger Gilbert here from Milling and Grain magazine. I'm in the Rongo Rongo studio and today I have the pleasure of interviewing Sebas van der Ender, who is the general manager of Victam International. As we know, Victam Asia was to be held in March 2020 and with coronavirus uh, affecting all countries in Europe uh, and globally, uh, a lot of events, including this, the Victam event, which was co-located with uh, VIV, Animal Health and Nutrition, had to be postponed. Um, as I say, I'm fortunate enough to have uh, Sebas here this morning, and we can ask him a few questions about their plans for uh, Victam, uh, because last week they had a meeting and made some decisions. Uh, welcome, Sebas, to uh, Rongo Rongo Live. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much, Roger. Yeah, Sebas, so uh, last week uh, your board met and decided uh, on, on the future of uh, Victam Asia. Um, we know that it was postponed to July, but what's, what's the update? Yes, uh, exactly. Uh, so, unfortunately, we had to uh, make this decision again. So, it will be now the, probably the, the, the show with the longest preparation in history. Um, but let's go back. I mean, yes, uh, it, it started all in, in January, basically. It was, uh, there was this uh, coronavirus started being in China. I went there to Bangkok for a press, uh, press uh, meeting. And it, uh, basically, it looked all positive. At that moment, we said, okay, it, it seems that in China it starts to be controlled a little bit. There was no outbreak yet. So we decided at that moment uh, we continue with the event in March. But two weeks later, the, the situation completely changed um, when there was an outbreak. And at that moment, everybody knew already, wow, this is going to influence the world. So an event in March is not, uh, it's not doable anymore. So we decided to, to postpone the event to July, to 7th to 9th of July, or 9th, 11th of July. And uh, hopefully, with four months to go, hopefully everything will be in control. With the summer, will be there. The virus is hard to, uh, to survive, so hopefully it's good. But then now, May, two months later, uh, it's, it's still a worldwide problem. Uh, some place in the world, maybe it's going better a little bit, on the other hand. There's the fear that there will be a second wave, or it's anyway, it's still right. there. So yeah. for us, having an event, an international event, where people have to fly in, exhibitors, visitors, yeah, it's it's not possible to have this event in July. So uh, together with our partner uh, VNU from, from VIV part, and from my board of directors, we decided that okay, we have to postpone. And then we had two options basically, or are we going to. Uh, to go for the second half of this year, end of October, we could have a have a venue, or postpone it all the way to 2022, the beginning of 2022. In my okay, then there is enough time. There should be enough time in the world to solve it, to solve this whole problem. For October, of course, for us, for our company, uh, October would have been better. I mean, financially, but also for preparation-wise being in contact with our customers, that would be the, the, the nice choice for us. On the other hand, mm. if we see uh, big events, for example, in the Netherlands, it's forbidden until there will be a vaccine. Uh, who knows, flying companies, um, the economical situation of companies, uh, what's on their mind. October was for us just not the right, yeah. didn't feel right. Yeah. Also, there are, there are other events in October, November, so the, the calendar of events is very busy. So also from that perspective, it wouldn't be the good choice. So we decided to go all the way to January 2022. That's January 2022. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, we, we skipped 21. Uh, our partner has the show in Bangkok two months later, so we didn't want to uh, interfere with this one. So, so also 2022 of 2021 was not the right option. Yeah. So then it goes to 2022. That sounds like a, a, a very practical decision. And by then, uh, things will be much different from what they are now, uh, whether that's hopefully an improvement over time. But normality might not return to the way we used to be. And uh, exhibitions are those sort of activities where people come together in large numbers. I mean, is that is that a concern? Are you planning? Are you looking at what others are doing around this sort of type of ex meeting place, exhibition, conferences, as to how to maybe adopt uh, social distancing or or better practices that that might discourage that uh, spread of any possible virus? Is that an issue? Well, 
it, it, of course it is an issue, um, and then there are two two parts in it. Uh, it's it's one um, if there will be a vaccine, then maybe the world can be normal again. Yeah. So that that's one from that perspective. If and when, then maybe we can uh, continue we'll continue the shows, doing the shows uh, as we did. On the other hand, if not, and if we have to 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 we have to listen to regulation, we have to be careful of the people who are there, and then of course uh, there are ways. Um, we can have broader uh, aisles. We can have to stand further, further away from each other. Uh, we can let the less people in, for example. On the other hand, it's a little bit, uh, yeah. We as an event organizer, our, our strongest point is bringing in as many possible yeah. visitors as possible. As possible, yeah. Uh, if we have to have restriction on the number of visitors. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 yeah, our core business will suffer. Yeah. But it is possible. And if this is the new life, uh, we can do. On the other hand, I believe um, events can only go on if they are, if there's a vaccine. Yeah. Well, I, I was just, it just occurred to me that, you know, maybe running the event over more days, uh, fewer people coming at any one time, uh, it, that might be a, a, a part of the solution as well. But uh, I, yeah. we can have an, uh, an, a combination online on-site event yeah. uh, that, that people can go in and other people uh, can, can at the same time live streaming. Or, yeah. there, are, there are different scenarios we're looking at, uh, but at this moment, this one, we're not, we, uh, we don't develop anything because we still would like to see what's, uh, where we're going to. Yeah. And your partners and uh, exhibition companies, they... That's supporting your your decisions. Yeah, I think all partners, all uh, other event organizers are in the same boat. Mm. Um, for everyone, it's a horrible situation. I mean, everybody understands that the, the, the travel industry, the the, the, the event industries are, are are hitting hard, yeah. and we are really, really, really depending on the, the medical status of vaccines. Yeah, and so from their perspective. Everybody understands. Also, from the XL, now we postpone the event. Everybody understands. Everybody knows it's the only way. We, the only way we can do. Perfect. Nobody blames us. Although it frustrates, they don't blame uh, the yeah. organizers. Will, will you be doing anything in the interim around Victam Asia? I know you've got Victam uh, Europe or the Victam International at some point. Maybe that's the year after. I don't know what date that is exactly. Uh, but will you be doing anything in the interim for uh, the Asian side of uh, Victam in terms of it, communications? Or uh, we are talking now with uh, with our partner what we can do and uh, maybe have a, a, a seminar or webinar or anything uh, from that person. An, an event like we planned, not um, that will be uh, in March. Normally, March twenty one. There's the VIV show in March. That's right. uh, in March, ourselves picked up. We have our event in Turkey. That, oh, yes. uh, the That's the one. With, yeah. uh, with ITMA. It's in March 2021. Mm. So that was also one of the reasons not to have our event in 21. Mm. Um, yeah, and then uh, so we, we keep talking with our people and we will have events. But all depends. Also, victim mm. Turkey depends on the situation at that moment. Yeah. And, wow. and the problem, of course, with the events is that uh, we cannot decide we have our event tomorrow. Um, is at least four or five months before the event, uh, yeah. it should be clear yeah. Yeah, because the marketing campaign should start. People have to prepare their prep, their their their, their yeah. uh, participation. So yeah, so it's, it's a long cycle. Yeah. And that's the problem. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much for the update, uh, Sebas. I mean, I think these decisions uh, are well taken, and I think people will res res or understand them. And uh, good luck with uh, maintaining. Uh, Good connections with the industry, and so hopefully we can solve the problem and see you in Turkey next year, uh, CVIV in, in Asia, and yourselves in 2022. Uh, but thank you for joining us this morning, and uh, all the best for the future. You're welcome. I mean, we can have this uh, do this again uh, in September when we know more about the march uh, in Turkey about the situation. Yeah, it will be a good moment to do another uh, small uh, talk. Okay, well, just to remind everybody, Victam Asia along with VIV Animal Health and Nutrition, is now targeted for January, 2000, uh, January 2022, between 18 and 20. Exactly. Thank okay. you, Roger. Thank you. Bye for now.
Bye.